Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mo's and today's episode we're going to be taking a little look at a hater musfet. Um, it came in as part of the job lot uh, of lawnmowers and I think I've done all the others, it's just this one sat, um, sat here on its own. It doesn't have a grass box um, so I need to try and locate a um, hater 48 musfet grass box for it. I can't start it because there's no fuel line on it. Um, so um, that I do know. Um, it's missing or been cut one or the other. So it's um, it's not in bad condition, um, but if I can find a grass box for it and the engine runs, then it could be quids in. It's got a Honda lawnmower, a Honda engine on top, which is cool. Um, so let's get up on the bench and have a look at it. See if we can't at least get it to fire and then try and get it to run would be lovely. Um, it's got power drive, it's got throttle control, all that sort of lovely stuff. Um, this is the rotary four wheel type, not the roller. Um, so without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's check out this hater lawnmower. Right, let's get up on the bench. I keep bending, bending my head, expecting to smack the old barnet. There she is. As I say, it don't look in bad condition. Uh, let's get it up on the, up in the air a bit and uh, see what we can't do with it. Right, it's all secured up on the bench. Let's uh, spin it round. As I say, the first thing I notice is it actually doesn't have any fuel, or well, has a fuel pipe on it, but it's like it's been cut. Oh no, it hasn't. It's just been cut off of the fuel tap. So I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Does the fuel tap work? Yeah, fuel tap works. There'd be no fuel in it, obviously. Uh, let's check the filter, that's what the filter looks like. My lord, that filter looks pretty good. So that's sort of telling me off the bat straight away, is it a question of it is terminal, you know? Because that filter looks really good. So it's, it's no good for me, it's got oil in it. Um, but this part of it um, looks relatively new. So happy so far just for the appearance. If I can get the uh, that fuel pipe to connect which it probably won't have to cut a new bit of pipe in there. Um, that'll at least hook the fuel up <coughs> and then we'll see if we can't get it to fire. So first thing I'm going to do before I do anything, check the underside. Let's have a little look. Blaze in really good condition. Uh, it's got one of the anti-slip discs on it. Um, have got a bit of damage to the back, which is not the end of the world. Um, I can probably get work around that. Um, let's take the plug out and let's see what goodies uh, lay inside. <coughs> I'm going to put some carburetor spray inside it and just at least try and fire the old girl up. That was on there. Let's have a little look. This should be an uh, ES spark plug in here. Long old threads on these. Yeah, uh, NGK BPR 6ES, yeah, and the plug is very, very oily. So I'm gonna give it a bit of a clean, um, we'll put some spray down it, and then we'll just try and give it a fire to see if it, if it in fact, uh, is a good engine, got compression, got spark, all that sort of good, yummy stuff. Okay, let's put some of this down in there. I'm gonna put that in. Time to it up quite quick before all evaporates off. I don't normally buy lawnmowers without grass boxes. Very rarely I do. But as it's a hater, I thought I'd give it a go. The paintwork is not too bad. A little bit of spots in places, but nothing untoward. Should be an alley deck as well. Let's do that up. Let's put that on. And let's just get a quick pull, just to see if it a fire. That's all I'm after. Dead man in. Let's see what happens. It's got compression. And we've got 
fire. So I'm happy with that. Fire straight up, actually. So, um, <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do, pair along those pliers in. I'm going to bring my toolbox a bit closer because I keep drifting off um, to get my toolbox. So I'm going to bring my toolbox a smidgen closer without making too much rack. Just so I can work with them. I'm eventually going to be ending up working down the far end of a shed, uh, which is where I want to be working anyway. I don't want to be at the top end. So, uh, what do I want? What do I say? Oh, long nose pliers, that's it, yeah. Let's get some long nose pliers out. Let's move that out of the way. Right, I'm sorted now. So, long nose pliers are in here. And we've got a little tiny clip on here. This has someone replied to one of my videos um, on a Honda HRX476 I did. He's just done a, a clutch replacement on it and uh, he said my video helped him out loads, which is lovely to hear. <clears throat> yeah, that's what it's there for. It's always nice when we done a, do a video sort of, you know, last year. In fact, the beginning of last year, one of my, one of my first videos and um, people are still watching them. And oh, there goes Bruce my squirrel. I can hear it. Um, it's nice to hear people having success. Oh, I didn't want to come off of there. Right, that's off. Now, will that go onto there? I might better just bodge it by moving this um, this tap over slightly. It's got a little tiny Phillips on it. Um, I've got another bit of pipe here. I think that's air breather pipe. It probably won't do it. That's going to be a bit big, I think. Yeah, it's going to be too big. So I've just got to find a bit of pipe. Um, I might better just literally hook it up for now just so I can get it to work and get the system to run. That's the idea. So let me find a, a Phillips driver. So I've got my Phillips. I'm going to disconnect this fuel tap, which is just on one Phillips driver on the side here. If it come off, I'll be breaking it. No, oh, I don't want to come off. Some pickle on it. This pipe is quite solid. I might have to go and get a new bit of fuel pipe. That might just be the easiest thing to do. Give us two ticks, I'll find a bit of fuel pipe. Right, got a bit of fuel pipe. Um, now I've got to fight with this one now. Get that off. That's come straight off. And these are little clips. I hate these clips. I hate them with a passion. So now I've got a bit of fuel pipe. Uh, I'm going to put that onto there. That might be a bit too big. It's expanded. So let's just snip a bit off of that. Let's bring it back down to a narrow side of it. fits on there beautiful like it's supposed to be and then we're going to run this round give it a bit more than what it needs again this is the idea of having used engines you can take bits off of terminal engines and make it all fit hopefully that's going to go onto there like a good boy it will do I think I might put in a cup of hot water but it might go on Come on, baby. Yeah, it's going. All right, that's on my nice and tight. I'll put that little clip on there, that'll hold. Right, so now we have a, uh, a linked up system. Not sure um, what's gonna happen when I put fuel in. It might just it might just lash out, but judging by the state of the filter, um, it's been tipped up several times uh, because there's oil in the filter. So we shall see. Let me just get some petrol under my bench in the secret hiding place because I don't know I'm breaking into my shed and finding the petrol which is no longer secret because I just advertise it on the video alright let's put some petrol in the old girl I don't know what year this is what year is it 2004 this one that's not that old with a Honda engine I'm surprised it's been booted out so let's put some fuel in in it goes and we're looking for a lot of signs of leaks the fuel is tapped off at the moment I'll put plenty in there because it started up straight away just with carb cleaner. Let's give it half a chance. 
I think this mower stands me in at roughly about fiver compared to what I paid for the, the rest of the uh, the rest of the, en the engines I had. Right, um, let's put them bits away. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's turn that fuel pipe on. I can hear fuel coming down. There's no obvious signs of any cracks in the in a casing, which is something that normally concerns me when uh, when we have stuff muck about. Let's check the choke. Yeah, it's choking as it should do. Right, let's check the oil. See what the oil is doing, and then if the oil is of a suitable level, we'll go for a fire up, shall we? Let's just adjust you back up so you can see a bit more what's going on out there. All is round here on these Hondas. Cool. I don't want to come undone either. Yes. I need man do that up. Plenty of oil. Plenty of oil. Absolutely bang on the mark. I mean, all looks really, really good. So why has it been thrown out? Okay, um, I'll take it outside and fire it up. Some of you guys and girls have been saying to me, you shouldn't be firing machines up indoors, Mick. So I'm gonna take that on the chin and uh, and uh, say yes, you're quite right. So I'll take it outside, we'll try and fire it up. I won't start it up until you're outside, I promise, uh, because I want you guys to see what, what it is as and when I do it. So um, I'll meet you outside in two ticks and we're gonna fire it up. All right, outside, um, I'll leave the air filter off for now. Uh, fuel's turned on, I haven't tried to pull it at all. All's good, it's got petrol in it and no fuel leaks. expecting that however the drive is not working so that would be the reason why it's come to me um, let's fire it up one more time make sure it's not a fluke um, hopefully the drive will improve or the belts has come off I'm hoping the box hasn't gone Get it indoors and uh, see what's up with this drive. Um, hopefully, it's gonna be a really quick fix. If it is, I'm quids in once I find a grass box for it. All right, back indoors. So, fire straight up, well happy, but we're not out of the woods yet because I want to see what's going on with this, um, with this drive system. And I can see already, let's have a little look. You'll see it at the same time as me. Even the belt is off the pulley. Let me get my torch so you can see better. There's my torch. So the belt is actually off the pulley, which is good news. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blade off, um, try and give me access to this cover. Um, I might be able to get, get it through the back, um, but the, the box is absolutely full of grass as well so that one's coming out a bit of damage here um, but that's superficial I can get around that and um, that won't be a problem um, so I'm happy with that so far which is good news um, I don't think I can gain access to this back pulley I don't know where the belt is there's a belt got the belt so let me try and just fit that over the back pulley first on the drive 
tilt that forward. It's only a bit fiddly, it might take a bit of time to do it. So I can't get any access into there. That gives you no access at all. So you've got to pull this forward and try and hook that over the back of the pulley if you get them adrift. So give us two ticks. It's a question just literally manhandling it. Um, put it onto it. There's a pulley on the back here and that has come off the pulley. And there's a pulley on the front here, so I'm off there as well. So once I get those two lined up, we'll go for another fire up. So let me get lined up first, try and get it on. It'll take me about 10 minutes just to get my hands in there. Um, and then we'll go again. Okay, so I've been quite lucky. I've been able to remove one engine bolt off of this flap just here. And that loosens up this, uh, this whole entire um, grass catching flap. So the blade is now um, sort of loose. I can sort of fish that blade, uh, fish that, that belt out. And it just gives me a bit more manipulation and room to move. There it goes. So now I've got the actual belt out. I can now, with my hands, um, bring that round. That, that box is absolutely full of grass, absolutely packed in there. And you get some of that out. And that's half the reason why uh, we're in this mess, is because that grass is just caught behind here. Absolutely reams of it. We're going all, all over my socket set, which Zippo would absolutely love to see. Look at it, absolutely full of it. Reams of the stuff coming out. But good news is, it's, it's all quite fresh grass. All right, the pulley's now clear, but there is some grass trapped within the pulley itself. I can feel it. Just try and fish it all out. There's a stone there as well, so I can feel a stone moving about up in there. I'll get my air compressor on that and blow all that out. I think it'll be best. Stands a better chance of getting it all out. So let me do that and I'll come back. Right. Quite a bit of grass in there. I'll just try and get this in a suit position where you're not getting no glare, but you can see what's going on. So here's a belt, as I say, and I'm now going to try and fish this belt over the top of the pulley. It should go on quite simply now. There it goes, so that's now on. So that's now on the back pulley. <clears throat> I need to just bring this guard over and round and then fish it onto the um, onto the main pulley, which is located just there at the top. You can see it, that's the main pulley. Now I've got to put that onto there and then put it all back together and then uh, we can test the drive, see if the drive actually works. So let me just put it on the front pulley, just put it on, take the spark plug HT lead off, spin the rotary blades and uh, it should uh, push the, um, push the belt back onto the pulley. That's the idea, but make sure your HT lead is taken off first. Right, belt's now back on, uh, cover's now back on, and a quick way of testing to see if a drive is actually engaging is literally to come down to here, and <clears throat> if you now engage the drive um, on the handles, at the moment this is free, free spinning, but if you engage the drive and then put it backwards, it should lock, which it has done. However, that does not mean the drive actually works. Um, it means that it does engage. Let's see how now uh, how strong the drive is now, um, if it works at all. I'm gonna put a new air filter in here and um, put the cover back on, because it now runs nice. A uh, Bit of a clean up, and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there, um, and we should just see what happens. Right, brand new air filter gone in there. Um, brand spanking new, and no point mucking about. Let's now see if this um, drive's gonna cut in. Uh, hopefully it will do. And then we, if it does, we can get on and get it, give it a service and what have you. But uh, without the drive, it ain't worth a lot. Daddy. Yes, buddy. Who's over here? Uh, hater. Hi, hater. Where's the torch? Hey. Is it a torch? Hey. Is it a torch? We'll see if it works in a minute, shall we? Fantastic. Um, that's a relief. It drives that's really, working. really strong as well. Uh, good, isn't it, Riley? Yeah. Drives working. Yeah. So the reason this was thrown out is because the belt will come off. That was it. That's the only reason. Um, 
got to get a grass box for it um, and what have you, but uh, overall super happy. Okay, super, super happy. I didn't think that would um, just jump into um, life just like that. Um, cheers. Um, super happy. So I've now got a Hater 48 Musfit um, with a Honda on top and the engine absolutely um, sings really nice. Mm. What's that doing? But my phone went ping. Why? No idea who it is. It could be anybody. Before Snobby. So it could be Snobby. So um, what's left to do? Find a grass box number one. That's gonna be my hurdle, um, and that's where the outlay could be. Um, so I need to find a 48 Musfit um, lawnmower box for that in good nick, because uh, they're, they're expensive to buy brand new. I ain't buying one brand new. So this might just sit up here for a little while until um, I get a box for it. Got to have a new spark plug. Um, all I'm going to leave, all is absolutely bang on, and it's really, really a light colour brown. It's not, it's not even been been used. Um, the blade is actually in fantastic condition. Could just do a bit of a tiffle. Um, apart from that, that's it. It's good to go. Um, that lawnmower cost me a fiver. Should retail good money um, off of that. And uh, once it's got the grass box and looking tidy, then I'm super impressed. It's got a bit of damage to the back, uh, the back plate, but it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it, and um, I'm not going to be welding new plates into there. <laughs> um, but it doesn't affect the running of the mower, so super happy. So thank you very much for joining myself and my little Riley boy on this episode of Mixed Mowers. Don't forget to hit the old subscribe button, whack mm -hmm. the old bell, set your notifications to all. And that'll tell you that I've either one released a video or two. I'm on my weekly live stream on a Saturday night at six o'clock UK time, where you can come up on the panel, join me, um, chat to me, and some other guys who are from all over the world who are all fantastic. So I hope you found this um, this video informative. I hope you did enjoy. It. And just how lucky am I just to get this lawnmower for next to nothing and to literally put a fuel pipe on and away it goes. That's not always the case, um, but however, it is a case for me today. So thank you very much. Don't forget to give, if you like this video, give it a massive thumbs up. Much appreciated. And any comments down below, positive or negative, I'll take them both and I shall reply to all my messages that you send me. So thank you very much for joining myself and Riley Boy. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Mixed Mowers. But until then, people, don't forget, more importantly, take her easy. <laughs>